Hey friends, welcome to FX Yogi. In today's video, let's learn how to trade support and resistance. We have divided how to trade support and resistance levels into two simple ideas, the bounce and the break. The bounce. As the name suggests, one method of trading support and resistance level is right after the bounce. Many retail forex traders make the error of setting their orders directly on support and resistance levels and then just waiting for their trade to materialize. Sure, this may work at times, but this kind of trading method assumes that a support or resistance level will hold without price actually getting there at. You might be thinking, why don't I just set an entry order right on the line? That way, I am assured the best possible price. When playing the bounce, we want to tilt the odds in our favor and find some sort of confirmation that the support resistance will hold. For example, instead of simply buying right off the bat, we want to wait for it to bounce first before entering. If you have been looking to go short, you want to wait for it to bounce off resistance before entering. By doing this, you avoid those moments where price moves fast and breaks through support and resistance levels. The break. In a perfect forex trading world, we could just jump in and out whenever price hits those major support and resistance levels and earn loads of money. The fact of the matter is that these levels break off it. So it's not enough to just play bounces. You should also know what to do whenever support and resistance levels give way. There are two ways to play breaks in forex trading. The aggressive way or the conservative way. The aggressive way. The simplest way to play breakouts is to buy or sell whenever price passes convincingly through a support or resistance zone. The key word here is convincing because we only want to enter when price passes through a significant support or resistance level with ease. The conservative way. Imagine this hypothetical situation. You decided to go long on Euro USD, hoping it would rise after bouncing from a support level. Soon after, support breaks and you are now holding on to a losing position with your account balance slowly falling. Do you A. Accept defeat, get the heck out of and liquidate your position or B. Hold on to your trade and hope price changes up again. If your choice is the second one, then you will easily understand this type of forex trading method. Remember, whenever you close out a position, you take the opposite side of the trade. Closing your Euro USD long trade at or near break even means you will have to short the Euro USD by the same amount. Now, if enough selling and liquidation of losing positions happen at the same broken support level, the price will reverse and start falling again. This phenomenon is the main reason why broken support levels become resistant whenever they break. As you would guess, taking advantage of this phenomenon is all about being patient. That's all for today. Let's catch up in the next video with more content. Until then, Take care. Bye-bye.